What scents do I enjoy? What smells? Do you know? I'm asking you. I'm talking to you. Yes, you, right there. What if you, if you watch, it's like one of those kids shows. Hey, kids. <laughs> hey, grown-ups. If you've watched enough of my videos, you know that I enjoy menthol, right? Yes, menthol. Menthol, peppermint smells. But I got a comment, uh, I think it was last night or this morning, that said, uh, and I think I mentioned in the last video, that I think I OD'd on menthol recently. I think this pushed me over the edge. The cold fusion aftershave from Wet the Face. I think it cured me of my menthol uh, addiction. Um, I think that was my, my low point. I think I bottomed out. <laughs> <laughs> now, I need to get back into it just a little bit at a time. Now, menthol, yes, we know that. Uh, we know that I like uh, citrus scents, right? Like the old uh, margaritas in the Arctic, right? Yeah, we know that. That's, that's a given. Okay, menthol and citrus. But the other thing I love is peppermint. Now, mint. Mint, menthol, yes, they're related. But like, um, like the, uh, I don't have it here, but the, uh, the, the shaving cream that I use with caffeine, the Pacific whatever, Pacific Rim, something. Mint scents, I love that. But that's kind of related to menthol. What I also love is the almond slash cherry scent from like Cella, this Cella Italian uh, shaving cream. Crema de barba. Oh, it's kind, you just want to eat it, right? Shall I lick it? No, not gonna, not gonna do it. Don't want to be a bad example. Don't have you licking your shaving creams from now on. So I love this scent, right? And then when I was sent this by Martin, I loved it. Almond shaving cream from Taylor o Ball, Old Bond Street. I have to, sorry, I have to open it and smell it. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. So I love this almond scent, right? This almond slash cherry scent. And so recently, in fact, yesterday, I received a gift package from a viewer, a kind viewer named Bob. Uh, Whippet6636 is his screen name. And he thought that I should try a couple of shaving creams. So he sent me this one. I'm not going to show you what it is right now. But it's in a KFC uh, takeaway sort of container. Like you put the mashed potatoes you didn't eat. You, you didn't finish your mashed potatoes? Finish your mashed potatoes. You don't need a takeaway container for that. To-go container. That's what we say in the U.S. So he sent me this shaving cream, which I'm going to be using today. But he also sent me this aftershave, which... Like I said, you know Cella, almond scented? Well, he sent me an aftershave called Cella Cool. Not affiliated with the Italian place, but this is made by Phoenix Artisan Accoutrement. That's right, accoutrement, accoutrements. That's how we say it in the US. We mispronounce everything because, you know, <laughs> that's the way we are. And he sent me this stuff, it's Cella Cool. And if you've never seen this before, there's a few reviews on YouTube. Um, I'd never seen it before. It's got a picture of Keith Richards there shaving. Obviously, that's Keith Richards, right? <laughs> it looks like him. Um, maybe not craggy and old enough. But anyway, so this Chella Cool is a combination. It's an aftershave and cologne. But it's almond scented. And it's got menthol in it. What? What? Two worlds collide? It's got a little bit of menthol and a lot of almond. So, this is the aftershave. So, it would make sense that I shave with a Chella shaving cream or an almond shaving cream. It would make total sense if I did that, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to use what Bob sent me. Taylor of Old Bond Street peppermint. Yes, peppermint. Yes. I've been wanting to try this and I'm going to try it today. Oh, it does. It smells almost like a candy cane, almost like a Brock's Starlight Mint. Oh, like peppermint, not like wintergreen, which I don't like actually. Peppermint. So we're going to try this out today. I'm going to use, I'm going to go back to my old West Coast shaving brush, my favorite, the Jolly Rancher. And uh, yeah, we're going to try out the uh, the peppermint, the Taylor of Old Bond Street, which is just a fantastic company, been around forever. Did you know they have the court hairdressers? That's right, to the kings and queens of England. All right, I took a shower, did my hair, I'm going to put some hot water on my face. Ooh, that's hot. That's hot, folks. And uh, we're gonna shave with this stuff. I'm gonna dip my brush, and uh, and then just, he gave me just a teeny sample, just a hint. And he's trying to get me addicted to the Taylor of Old Bond Street line, and I, there might be a whole upcoming range of videos where I'm just shaving with Taylor of Old Bond Street. Uh, I put the peppermint Taylor of Old Bond Street, I looked on Amazon, and I put it in my, uh, my cart, you know, save for later. I'm trying to get this out of here. 
And, but I didn't buy it. I didn't, I didn't purchase it. I came this close, man. I was so close, but I didn't do it. And so this was like, when I saw this in the package yesterday, I was like, oh, you got to be kidding me. Oh, smells so good. See, I don't put very much because this Taylor Wool Bond Street goes a long way. A little goes a long way, folks. And I'm going to go a long way <laughs> with this. All right. Put the old mashed potatoes back in there. Ooh, maybe I should shave with mashed potatoes and gravy from KFC next time I am feeling weird. All right. <laughs> put some more water up on my face just because. And then I like to dip a little bit or like sprinkle a little bit of water on top. These synthetic brushes, man, you can't go wrong. And if you're, you know, care about animal cruelty and all that stuff, or maybe you're a vegan or a vegetarian, well, then you feel great about using one. Because they only killed synthetic badgers to make this, so. Yeah, it's no problem. And we don't want those synthetic badgers running around. Ooh, those things stink. <laughs> all right, I don't know what I'm talking about, sorry. I'm excited to use this, uh, all of this stuff. But it's like, hmm. Now, I, I was just thinking maybe like it's like, I love peppermint. I love almond oil slash cherry, you know, smells like Dr. Pepper or whatever. And I love citrus scents, but I don't think that citrus would go with peppermint. So I don't think I'll try, maybe I'll do a mix. Maybe I'll do like a weird mix. Wait a minute. I haven't even chosen a razor yet. <laughs> actually, hmm, actually I have. Now, I got another comment from a, a, a kind viewer in the UK who says, don't use the fat boy. I always get jealous when you use the fat boy. And so I'm gonna use the Rockwell. No, actually, you know what? I'm not gonna use Rockwell. I'm not gonna use the fat boy. That's boring, not gonna use the Rockwell. So you don't get jealous. I'm gonna use the fat boy gold executive. I, you won't get jealous over that, will you? I mean, nope, everybody has these things. I don't know how I got, the, well, yeah, sorry. I hate to do it to you, buddy. <laughs> Okay. Oh, look. Down to my last feather blade. Don't worry, I got a bunch more down there. There's all the old ones in there. So, yeah. <laughs> you know, I told you I never planned these things out. And this time, I planned out all the other stuff. Forgot to choose a razor. Now, I did just clean this thing, so I feel kind of bad. But, I mean, what's it there for if I'm not going to use it? Got it on seven. This thing is in beautiful shape. Oh, my gosh. So, yeah. Don't get jealous. It's a, it's just a dumb old razor. Boring old razor. <laughs> All right. I haven't shaved with it in a while, actually. Ooh, oh boy. Yeah, this is the executive shave, folks. Ooh, that peppermint. It's giving me a little bit of a minty, uh, minty tingle after I uh, pass my razor across my cheek there. That's nice. It's like just enough, you know? It's not too much. It's not like the cold fusion, which even for me is too much menthol. I mean, my eyes, every time I use it, just feel like they're burning out of my head. And uh, sometimes I like that. Sometimes I'm masochistic like that. Sometimes I'm not. And I'm trying to back off and use just a little. Now, something that's interesting in that Phoenix accoutrement, accoutrement aftershave is in the list of ingredients. Now, on their website, they talk about almond oil and things like that, and it's got you know, it's got alcohol in it. But it also has an ingredient of which I know nothing. And it's called liquid silk. Where is it? Liquid silk. Oh, it's on the front. Yeah. Fragrance oil hedione. H-E-D-I-O-N-E. -E. I'm probably mispronouncing it. It's probably hedione or something. Aloe vera liquid silk. What the heck is that? What is liquid silk? Is that a real thing? Is that a made-up thing? Please let me know in the comments if you know what liquid silk is. But uh, thanks, Bob, for sending that to me. That's incredibly generous. I don't deserve it, certainly. My, my arm is shaking. My hand is kind of shaking. What have I been doing? I'll tell you what I haven't been doing. I think it was Tuesday night. I was having some... Uh, not health troubles, but gastrointestinal uh, distress. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'll say. But it kept me up all night long. I like maybe slept for two hours Tuesday night. It was terrible. Ugh. And uh, and I'm still recovering from, from getting no sleep. I'm a I'm a 48 year old man. I, I don't bounce back that, that quickly. So I'm still kind of tired from that. The next night I had a fantastic night's sleep. Last night was okay. I did get one little nick. You 
see, I'm so proud of you. And now, oh boy. Mm-hmm. See? See what, see what I get for, for acting silly and, and, and rubbing it in and being too proud? Don't be razor proud, guys. Just use them. They're tools. If you got them, use them, you know? Don't let it be a trailer queen. <laughs> Have you ever heard that term? That's for people that uh, own vintage cars that don't ever actually drive them anywhere. They take them to car shows on the back of a trailer behind, you know, their giant pickup truck. If you got it, if you got a vintage guitar, vintage razor, vintage automobile, use it, man. That's what it's there for. Don't let it sit in a cabinet. Don't just stare at it. Take it out. Play it. Drive it. Shave with it. That's my new slogan on this channel. Play it. Drive it. Shave with it. It makes no sense, but that's my new slogan. I don't know. Ooh. Got to shave my shoulder. That should be the rule. If, I, uh, if I'm messy enough to splash shaving cream onto my shoulders or chest, I have to shave that portion. No, I'm not going to do that gross. Quiet. I did get a comment once like, shave your chest. I was like, no, this isn't is the channel for that. I'm sure there's plenty of channels out there that cater to that sort of content, but not me. I'm just a normal guy who likes chatting with all y'all. Nothing weird. I mean, it's kind of weird. But not really, right? It's a whole new world we're living in, folks. People make fantastic livings playing video games and opening up toys on YouTube. Wild. Strange, isn't it? All right, going across. Now, people have asked me, why don't I go against the grain on my lip? Well, first of all, I don't need to because doing, uh, you know, two or three passes takes care of it. And plus, it's kind of... It's, it's awkward to do, so I just don't do it. I don't feel the need to. I just make sure that I get it under my nostrils with any little whiskers that, you know, if I rub my face, it bothers me. So that's why. I do have one tiny little nuck. Nuck. A little nuck. I got a nuck. A nick from this guy. A little golden nick. Be sure to check out Golden Nick's channel. He's somebody I just made up. He's got some great content. Playing video games while he shaves and opens toys. Ooh. Business model. Might have to look into that. I'll be one of those guys who wears the big headphones with a microphone while he shaves, while he plays uh, Fortnite and uh, <laughs> opens Kinder Surprise Eggs. I'll be making millions from YouTube if I do that. And if I call my channel, like, Disney Toys Amazing Fail... Uh... <laughs> Gameplay Fortnite trailer. Oh my gosh. I know, right? Ah, oh, YouTube. I got two little nicks now. Ooh. I might have to go to a new home. No. <laughs> but that, that fella in uh, the UK, I'm sorry I didn't look up your screen name before I started filming this little thing because that's the kind of terrible YouTuber I am. I don't do much research. I want these to be fun and, and, and spontaneous. I don't want to think too much about it because then... Then I'll, uh, <laughs> I won't be lazy. But uh, I told him, I said, well, if I ever find a really cheap fat boy, I'll buy it for you and send it to you. All you got to do is pay me the shipping to the UK. I'll send it to you. And that goes for everybody that wants one. I'm going to be the mainline supplier of vintage fat boys to the world, starting with the UK. Of course, I never see them. <laughs> I only see them on eBay. And I see them mislabeled on eBay. You'll see these, you know, the slim, the vintage slims. Uh, oh, sorry, I thought I had some more uh, shaving cream. A little, a little jumpy this morning. I only had one cup of coffee. Whew. Okay, take a deep breath. Sinatra. Ah, there we go. I need to calm down. See, maybe that's why I'm getting nicks. I'm too active. I need to be more zen-like. All right, back to shaving. Third pass. You see my hand shaking? My goodness. I just still feel tired. But I'm going to take a walk after this. Normally I take a walk before I take a shower because I end up sweating like a dog. But I wanted to talk to you guys first before I did. Mm-hmm. Somebody also mentioned that... Uh, you know, a few videos ago I said, boy, 
fat boys are going for cheap these days on eBay for like 35 bucks. And then he said, well, now because of that video, I'm seeing that they're up to, you know, 50, 70, 80, 90, 100 dollars. Like, oh no, it's the Sinatra Lennon effect. Oh no. There's another uh, YouTube channel I watch called Tech Moan. It's this fella in the UK. And he reviews like old technology from like the 70s and 80s, like old record players and old cassette players and old weird things that they, you know, tried to have a new like, you know, music format in 1978 and it was on a tiny cassette disc or something. But so he'll put these videos up with these weird old, you know, turntables and cassette things and whatever. And then there will be a run on eBay because he's got a ton of subscribers. He's got like, I don't know, almost a million, I think. And uh, fly, got him fruit fly, um, and he 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 actually does have an effect on the price of these things for a while after the videos come out. So I don't think I have that kind of reach. Man, I'm getting all kind of nicks from this bad boy. Oh, I need to slow down. It's a fresh feather blade, man. Fresh feather blade, 1958. Executive fat boy. I need to slow down, calm down, and do the ASMR thing. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do that. It's not my thing. It doesn't work on me. I know I've mentioned that before. But God bless you if it works on you. I'm gonna start a BSMR channel where I just yell really loud and talk nonsense. You know, like every other YouTube channel. <laughs> what am I talking about YouTube so much for? I don't know. I don't know, it just comes to me and I... Man, I'm getting lots of nicks. Goodness gracious. Okay, I'm gonna go lightly. Oh, but you know what this means though. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is gonna burn something fierce. Because that first ingredient is alcohol. Oh man, and menthol. Holy guacamole, guys. I'm gonna be paying for my undue pride. All right, let me feel. All right, I, got, I always have, I don't know what it is about this corner of my jaw, what little jaw I have. That's nah, not too bad over here. Usually it's a little worse over here, but. All right, done. All right, cold water, cold water. I'm gonna clean this guy off afterward because I'm not gonna use him for a while, I guess. I'm gonna take the blade out and I always lay it across the handle of two other blades and I'll wash this off so it stays nice and shiny. Ooh, that cold water burned. The cold water burn. Not really. It feels good. But, oh man. I'm getting a little nervous now. For this Chella. C-H-E-L-L-A. Not C-E-L-L-A like the Italian. Whew. Okay. All right. Got to get my bearings here. All right. That's all I'll say. That's all I can say. Oh my gosh. It's like a strong almond cherry, even more cherry scented than the Chella uh, shaving cream or the Taylor of Old Bond Street, the Tobbs. That's what us insiders call it, Tobbs. <laughs> Stop it. I, I'm, I'm, yeah, I am. I'm waiting. I'm hoping that, uh, yeah, all right. Let me do this for a minute. <laughs> I'm gonna try to stop those little cuts. So that this cella aftershave does not then seep into my bloodstream. And give me the shakes. All right. All right. No more. Okay. I like this bottle. It's very 70s. Look at that. It's got little ridges on the side. I like that. All right. Oh. 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 Ooh. Oh, that smarts. Wow, holy cow, ouch. Oh, ow, ow. <laughs> I'm serious, I'm not even kidding. Ooh, that's worse than the original Osage. Whoo! Oh, Kevin McAllister. All right, okay, it's starting to fade. Oh, wow, wow. I'm feeling a little bit of menthol. I'm getting the scent of the cherry, the almond. 
Because it, it's not only an aftershave, it says it's a cologne too. So like, I guess the scent will last longer than normal, which I'm not sure if I'm gonna like, because I like my aftershaves to, you know, be potent right away and then kind of fade away so I'm not smelling them the rest of the day. Because I don't like to use a lot of colognes. In fact, I think I brought it up before, I'll show you. This is the only cologne I've used since 1986. <laughs> Dracar Noir, that's right. I've had this bottle, I, this is how, how little I use this. This bottle was made in 2004 and it's still got some in it, so it's, it's vintage. All right, okay, the burn has subsided. The menthol is just tingling on my, my lip and a little bit over here, not much, so that's good. But man, that was like a sharp burn. That wasn't like a smooth, like pepperminty menthol burn. That was like a, ugh. I don't know, it was because of my over shaving. Like I overbladed my face. You guys play Overblade? It's great. I was watching this guy play Overblade the other day. So cool. He got to level three. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. All right. I beat the Dickens out of this. Beat the devil out of it. Bob Ross style. And uh, yeah. All right. Whew. Let me wash my hands off. <laughs> I got to recover from that. Oh, by the way, I didn't use any Barbasol in this episode. But man, holy cow. Thank you, Bob. Whip it. 6636 for whipping me, man. That whipped this. Ooh. Boy, this stuff is... I can see why he sent it on to me. <sighs> it's a little... It's strongly scented. And if, maybe if they toned down the scent or made it, didn't make it last as long... I mean, I'll see during the day. If, if, it, if it, like, lingers too long, then I might not be able to use it. But I do like it. I do love the scent of it. It smells great. It smells like pungent almond slash cherry marzipan that kind of thing so hopefully you can get an idea of that and i love that he he printed out a label for it that is fantastic thank you bob and thanks for sending me this this was unbelievably good taylor of old bond street can't go wrong folks not affiliated with taylor of old bond street all right have a great weekend everybody that's the end of my shave today i uh, hope you had a good time i hope you enjoyed watching me writhe in pain because that's that'd be a terrible thing for you to actually enjoy Missed. I was always terrible at basketball. I have to pick that up later. All right. Have a good weekend. I will see you all on Monday. Have a great one. Bye.